Hey everyone, Mark Buffa here from Buffa Distribution. I've got another special guest that seems to be a thing. All the way from Fort Worth, Texas, we've got Tyler Jensen here. Okay, <laughs> and today right. we're gonna talk to you guys about some shoes, so stay with us. Tyler's here to do his annual visit. Thanks for being here. Thanks for supporting Montreal Open. Yet again, it was an awesome event. But we wanted to take the time to talk to you, our viewers, about the different styles of shoes that Dexter offers. You know, we have a retail store here. Also, we have the eShop at shop.buffabowling.com. And a lot of people come in and they're like, hey, I want a pair of bowling shoes, but they don't really know what they, what they want, right? A lot of people just think, hey, it's a bowling shoe. They're all the same. And then when we start explaining what the differences are, they're like, oh, wow, I never knew. So. Let's take the time and you know show the different yeah. bottoms that you have. We've got two of our athletic uh, styles here. We've got the Dex Light bottom and the Comfort Casual. And just kind of a brief overview, Mark. The the Dex Light is your super lightweight. You know, it's got the flex channel for flexibility, and it's going to be a man-made upper. So this is your real lightweight athletic type bowling okay. shoe. And this bottom. Um, like as, as we're explaining, it's just the, the base of the shoe. So this is available on multiple different styles. Correct, right? yeah, this is what we call the outsole. So the outsole of, of this Dex Light is a compressed molded EVA. So it's a very lightweight EVA. You know, make sure to check out the catalog or even the product description when you're looking at your shoes to know which products have the Dex Light bottom if those are areas of concern for you. Yep. Right, catch. And <laughs> And then, you know, as you get in a little bit uh, into more of a serious play or type of bowling, you might want to get something that's, that's got a little bit more stability to it. And that's where the Comfort Casual comes in. This, this outsole, unlike the compressed molded EVA, is 100% rubber. So it's a little bit heavier, but it's also a little bit more durable. With this, you also get the longest profile of microfiber available in a bowling shoe. To make this even a little bit which, more... Which makes it slide more. Correct. Right? Yep. Yeah, you'll have uh, Using more slide. Using all this fancy lingo. And, yeah, uh, <laughs> more slide. That's all you need. <laughs> uh, also, to, to counteract you know, the weight of the outsole, we really try and focus on canvas or mesh uppers in the Comfort Casual. So right. you get a lightweight, breathable upper with the stability of the outsole. Right, and that's, that's pretty much the same you know, across the board. You get something with, that's laced, something that's slip-on, you know, and it's it's all the same base, right? Correct. Yep. So if this is something of interest to you when you come into our store or any pro shop, just flip them over and you'll see, like Tyler said, just super long slide sole with a nice canvas upper. So yep. comfort casual. This was introduced last year, right? Yeah. Um, pretty cool concept. And it brings interchangeables to like a budget friendly, budget conscious person that's really looking to get good performance and good styling slash looks and also some Thank technology, you. right? <laughs> yeah, so you know, if, if you start out and you're a recreational bowler, you've got the Dex Light, you move into the Comfort Casual, and now you want to get a little bit more serious about your game, but without breaking the bank, uh, we've got the new Dex Light Pro. So the Dex Light Pro is, is a really cool outsole here. It's got, it is compressed molded EVA, so it's very lightweight. Uh, but this is, this is unique. It's got a, an interchangeable slide sole, so you've got the Velcro, so if you bowl in multiple places, you know, you might have an approach that's a little tacky. You might want to go to a, a higher number because it's going to slide more. Or somewhere where it's very slick, you go to a lower number and it'll slide less. Uh, this actually has the speed groove heel, though, that we developed. So you get a little bit faster slide with the heel. And then you've got a fixed traction sole. So you're going to get a little bit more power as you're going into the to delivery. Okay. And this, uh, the Dexlite Pro Base is also available on the match play. match play as well. Yeah, we have two versions. We've got the the standard lace version uh, that, that is in the match play, and then we have the very cool BOA that comes with the, the BOA Fit Guarantee, which is a lifetime guarantee on the BOA products. So let's talk about next the SST8. Uh, SST8 was introduced like probably eight years ago, something like that. Yeah, I think uh, getting close to 10 years. Yeah. It's, uh, it was our first patent uh, as a bowling shoe. Basically the technology allows for a symmetrical outsole. So this was really key for distributors and pro shops is it eliminated having to stock a left-handed and a right-handed bowling shoe. Right. So it was, it was really revolutionary in the, in the stocking of, of uh, bowling shoes. Right. So this is like the, the entry level to the Cadillacs of, yeah. of the Dexter world, right? What, what's really cool though with the SST8 is it's probably on its you know, sixth or seventh revision or improvement. You know, as we, as we continue to manufacture shoes and do some more research and development, we like to take. We like to look back at maybe what uh, what could have been done better. So this uh, this SST8 Pro, we now have a, a thinned out EVA midsole 
So it's much more flexible. No left, right, just show up in your shop, say I want an SSD8, and it's a good place to start for a high performance shoot. Absolutely. Right, good stuff. All right. next we go up to, um, well, we go up but down in number. Up and down, a little confusing. <laughs> a little up and down there. So we got the uh, SSD6, which is uh, has been a staple in the line for, you know, years and years and years. Um, and this came back a couple of years ago with uh, this and also the, the hybrid, um, also again with the BOA technology. So really what's really different for this, um, and you know, I'll kind of steal your thunder here, yeah. is that players that are really rough on their push foot, this is the go-to shoe, correct? Yeah, yeah, any of the power players that really like to dig in and really like to get that leverage, they, they choose the SST6. Um, mainly it's because of the footprint. You can see it's our widest toe box. It's gonna give you a little bit better stability, a little bit better balance. Right. Still couldn't keep me in the shot, but uh, right. <laughs> nothing. Could. But still, like this the, again with the SST8, this is seated with some Velcro holding the slide pad, whereas this is you know part of the shoe. Correct. So it's got a more sturdy uh, push foot compared to the SST8. And one of the improvements we made on the SST6 bottom is we added a Velcro interchangeable heel on the on the push off foot, so you can get a little bit more traction or a little bit less. Okay, good stuff. So again, power player looking for a really really sturdy shoe. SST6. And last but not least, the the THE9. So we've got here the women's model. Uh, so explain to us what THE stands for and like basically what the intent was for that base. So the 9, the THE is Toehold Hyperflex Engineering. Okay. And basically what we developed was we developed a part that you don't have to cut. So you can buy it. It's specifically made for your shoe and it locks into the toe hold and then we have flex channels that allow great the greatest flexibility that we have uh, i think one of the coolest features of this is if you're a toe dragger and you start to wear down the the toe hold you can just replace the part so you don't have to buy a new shoe so the, the shoes are going to last longer because you just have to replace the traction sole okay so uh, when it comes to accessories uh, everybody's got a whole stash of accessories and one of the things that people, when they go into the THE9 technology is, you know, you got to buy a whole new kit of, you know, slide soles and all that. And you have addressed that with this new product. Yes. Uh, this is the, the THE sole adapter. So it's going to come just as Mark has it right here. It's, it's broken into three sections and there's just Velcro. So unlike a S7 that comes with the microfiber already attached, you can actually attach it yourself. So you'll be able to cut out your old SST pads or any pads that you might have to create your own slide soles, your own slide combination, or like I said, reuse some of that technology from the past. Yeah, there you go. So no more excuses. If you can't slide properly, grab the stuff out of your bag, make the changes to your shoes. Yeah. And that's it. Uh, we have one more new product coming I wanted to tell you about, Mark. This is the H1 Sawtooth. Okay. Uh, this is... A I think a, a, a part that some bowlers don't really get to pay enough attention to, um, we think about our inserts and we want to change those every 30, 60 games. Well, it's very similar with your, your slide soles. Okay. You know, these get residue on them and caked over from the dirt and you start to slide less or slide more actually right. and you lose leverage. So it's very important to make sure, you know, keep track of, of how many games you have on these and replace them frequently. Right. Same thing with your soles. You know, Correct. those kind of get shiny and glossy as time progresses. Yep. And you know, yeah, definitely. It's a lot like the inserts. Yeah. So uh, again, everyone, thank you for following us. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. Click the subscribe button below and make sure to hit the notifications. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Salut tout le monde, ici Marc Bouffa de Bouffa Distribution. Je suis ici aujourd'hui avec mon grand ami Tyler Jensen de Dexter. Puis aujourd'hui, on va vous parler des différentes bases de chaussures qu'il y a dans la gamme Dexter. Souvent, les gens viennent ici dans la Pro Shop puis se demandent c'est quoi la différence entre les chaussures. On va répondre à ça. Restez parmi nous. Aujourd'hui, j'ai le privilège d'être ici avec Tyler de Dexter. Donc, on va vous parler des différentes euh, type de base qu'il y a sur la gamme entière chez Dexter. Donc pour commencer, on va débuter avec le Dex Lite qu'on va trouver dans tous les souliers d'entrée de gamme. Donc c'est fait avec un foam qui est soufflé. 
Donc, ça fait en soi que le soulier est très léger ainsi que très flexible. Okay? Donc, ça, on va trouver ça sur tous les souliers d'entrée de gamme, style les Ricky, Raquel, ainsi de suite. Okay? Donc, si vous allez regarder le dessous, vous allez voir ici aussi un, un petit euh, canal qui va aider avec la flexibilité. Donc, si vous regardez pour ce style de dessous, euh, venez en magasin puis vous pouvez voir ceci. Ça s'appelle le Dex Light. Ensuite, on tombe dans la gamme qui s'appelle Comfort Casual qui est dans le fond avec un dessus en tissu qui rend encore le truc un peu plus beau et avec un dessous en caoutchouc oui ça ajoute un peu de poids au soulier mais ça ajoute un peu de structure donc si vous voulez quelque chose qui est un peu plus euh, disons costaud, un peu plus durable ça c'est la prochaine gamme avec la gamme Comfort Casual right? oui. <rire> ensuite on tombe maintenant avec la gamme Dexlite Pro donc ici on tombe avec un dessous encore une fois avec du foam soufflé puis aussi, ce qu'on voit ici, c'est une soulier de poussée et une soulier de glisse. Donc, la chaussure qui a le, le pad de glisse dessus est un pad qui est interchangeable. Donc, si jamais vous... vous... Velcro. Si jamais vous, vous... <rire> si jamais vous jouez dans plusieurs bowling, ou est-ce que peut-être un bowling glisse plus que l'autre, vous allez avoir l'opportunité de changer la semelle ici pour quelque chose qui glisse plus ou glisse moins. Okay? Aussi, ces modèles-là, il y a deux modèles, dont le Match Play. Celui-là qui est lancé et aussi le Pro Boa qui utilise la technologie Boa qui est un, une technologie à lacet euh, qui est euh, dans le fond à serrure si on veut. Donc très très cool à ce niveau-là. Ok, Ensuite on va maintenant tomber dans la gamme SST6. Donc si vous êtes un joueur qui aime vraiment creuser avec le pied de poussée puis avoir vraiment une bonne propulsion vers la ligne de faute, on vous suggère très fortement de regarder ces chaussures-là. C'est gauche-droite spécifique. donc il faut vraiment s'assurer de commander un soulier gaucher si vous êtes gaucher. La chaussure de poussée est dédiée et est vraiment ancrée dans la chaussure. Tu ne peux pas la changer. Cependant, un talon interchangeable. Puis sur le côté de la glisse, tu mets, se mets les talons interchangeables à ce niveau-là. Okay? Aussi, encore une fois, avec la technologie BOA. Et aussi, on a le SST6 hybride qui a le, juste des lacets traditionnels. Okay? Et pour finir, la nouvelle technologie THE9, qui est une nouvelle technologie qui utilise... La semelle euh, THE qui est to Toe Hold Hyperflex Engineering qui fait en soi que si vous usez beaucoup le, la partie des orteils de votre chaussure, maintenant vous avez simplement à remplacer le morceau et non remplacer la chaussure au complet. Donc si vous êtes une personne qui traîne beaucoup de, des orteils, c'est un excellent choix pour ça. Et aussi quelque chose de nouveau cette année, euh, parce que ce n'est pas la même technologie que dans toute la gamme SST, euh, nous avons maintenant la semelle adaptatrice THE9. Donc maintenant, si vous avez des semelles de vos anciens souliers, vous pouvez maintenant les mettre sur une semelle de, de THE9. Maintenant avec l'achat de ce, cette semelle-là adaptatrice. Donc quelques nouveaux produits ici pour les THE9. Et pour finir, encore une fois, un autre nouveau produit ici avec un nouveau talon H1. Donc Tyler avait dit dans le segment anglais, de, de s'assurer de bien changer vos talons et vos semelles de façon régulière, un peu comme quand on change euh, nos sus dans les boules. Ouais? Si. Oui. Oui. Okay. <rire> okay. Donc, rassurez-vous de, de regarder ça. Puis, euh, regardez juste l'usure normale de vos talons. Si jamais vous trouvez que c'est trop usé, venez en Pro Shop et changez vos accessoires. Ça va augmenter la durée de vie de vos chaussures. Okay? Donc, n'hésitez pas d'aller voir DexterBowling.com ou sinon Dexter sur toutes les plateformes de médias sociaux. Euh, Instagram, Facebook, etc. Et pour toute euh, information sur les produits Dexter, n'hésitez pas à visiter le shop.bouffabowling.com ou venez nous visiter en magasin. On se voit à la prochaine. Salut!